Have You Hugged Your Alien? Written by Anne Walsh, illustrated by Meredith Luce. Lola had a wild imagination. She pretended to be a princess riding her butterfly into the clouds to rescue everyone when they needed her the most. Help me, cried her little brother Benjamin when his ball bounced over the fence. Don't worry, I've saved your ball. Everything will be all right, she reassured him. Oh, thank you, Princess Lola, he replied. When her mother was about to step on a toy and fall down the stairs, Lola cried, wait, don't take another step, and she swooped in to remove the toy. Oh, my goodness, Princess Lola, her mother exclaimed. I could have been badly injured. How can I ever repay you? It's what I do, said Lola. Lola really was quite helpful. She fetched diapers for Benjamin and prepared his toothbrush at bedtime. She put her toys away most of the time. And whenever Benjamin had a fall, Lola could always make him smile. But Lola had a terrible secret. You see, there was an alien living inside her. Once in a while, when she felt frustrated or angry, her inner alien began to stir. Her eyes bulged out, her hair looked wild, and she spat a little when she spoke. Her voice, voice sounded like a lion's roar, and her whole body began to twitch. The foulest words would spew out from her tiny princess lips. The alien would say, I don't like you anymore. I want to toss you in the garbage. Who is this alien, Lola wondered. Surely it couldn't be a part of Princess Lola. Most of the time, Lola was able to keep the alien hidden. She wanted to be a perfect princess at home and at school. Whenever she felt the alien stir within her, she covered her mouth, closed her eyes, and twisted her legs into pretzels. Eventually, the alien would win and blurt out, Not fair! I don't want to! Once, Lola had to sit on the step after the alien pushed her brother. On a few occasions, she ended up in her room for some time to think. When her parents were upset with her, Lola felt sad and alone. One day, while Lola was having some time to think in her room, her mom came in for a visit. She explained that everyone, even mommies, feel many different emotions like excitement, surprise, sadness, anger, joy, worry, fear, pride, and love. It's normal. It's part of being a person living your life. None of these emotions are bad. You just need to learn how to make good choices when you express them. Lola's mom gave her some examples. Feeling excited about playing at the park is great. Pushing other kids to be the first one down the slide is a poor choice. Feeling happy about spending time with your friends is wonderful. Excluding someone who wants to join you is a poor choice. Feeling proud of your talents is awesome. Pointing out that someone else is struggling is a poor choice. Feeling disappointed when you can't buy something at the store is normal. Having a full-blown tantrum is a poor choice. Lola thought about these examples. She wondered what her friends did when they were angry. At school the next day, she asked them, here is what they said. Peter stomps his feet and screams, I feel so angry right now. Ah! Jojo takes deep breaths with her eyes closed. Brandon punches his pillow and backpack. Dominique does a little wobbly dance to let off some steam. Karen tightens her body, starting at her toes and moving up to her face. Then she releases everything and imagines the angry feelings leaving her body. Once they had melted these intense feelings away, they were able to ask for help in a calm manner. Lola was amazed at all the different ways her friends dealt with their anger. She decided she would use her imagination and picture herself as a dragon, blowing the anger out through her mouth like fire, then stomping out the flames with her feet, flapping her dragon wings, and giving herself a big hug until she felt better. Lola learned to embrace her inner alien and noticed that it made the alien much calmer. Have you hugged your alien today?